Hey everyone, we just discovered that Zoho Forums has three new features that they haven't even shared yet on their forums, but they're live for all of the accounts, yet there's no official post, so we thought we'd make a quick video. Shout out to our community members over at Club Zanata for finding this. They mentioned that there's a new theme builder, and sure enough, there is. I'm going to go over the two new field updates and the theme builder in this video real quick and cover everything you need to know if you're ready to make the switch or not. Before I get started though, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and let's jump in. So the first two updates I'm going to cover are these field updates. Um, so we're going to go ahead and take this Podcaster Zen account, which all of our videos are produced by and they're nice enough to let us use their account for this video. And we're going to go ahead and add a field to their form because now there's the new month and year field. So maybe you don't want to pick a specific date, but you want to be more month and feel like maybe you run like, let's say a camp and you want to pick which month do you want to sign up your kid for the camp? And it's only going to be June, July, or August as an option. You can now do that. So in this case, what month would you like to start your podcast? And then we can go ahead and choose all months and all months are going to be available in this case. But like I just said, if you're a summer camp, maybe you just pick, you know, June, July, August, September, whatever it may be. And then we're going to only want for this example, future months and years with edges. As you can see, you can also choose past months and years, months and years of a response. You can start them from or end on or add your own custom range. So we're going to go ahead and choose future months and years we can go ahead and include the month and year of the response. And let's go ahead and save that. And you can make it mandatory, etc. Another cool field that we just discovered is this embed field. So you can now drop in videos and audio podcasts directly into your Zoho form, giving some guidance or tutorials on what you're trying to do. Or maybe it's something completely different from a tutorial altogether or a podcast. But you've got all the major players, including YouTube, Instagram, Vimeo, Loom, Daily Motion, WordPress TV, and Kino Map. Or you can also drop in an audio file, Spotify, SoundCloud, Amazon Music, YouTube Music, and Apple Music. So you can go ahead and drop in both directly here. And if we go ahead and take a look, I'll go ahead and drop in our Zoho Form full product overview real quick so you can kind of get a C. And you can see that the calendar gives you now the option to choose, you know, which month or year you want to go ahead and get started with your podcast in this example. And we have this video embedded nicely here of Tyler going over Zoho Forms full product overview from a few years back. So those are two of the new features. Now for the last one, the main one we've all been waiting for, we'll go ahead and delete this real quick is the theme builder. So if we hop over to the theme builder, you can see when you come into your theme builder, you're gonna have an option, if one already exists, to edit the existing or create one from scratch or switch to the brand new theme builder. And when you switch, it's gonna give you this nice little, you know, what are the changes? We're gonna go ahead and switch now. It'll give you a nice preview of what it was before, what it's going to look like now basically jumping from the early 2000s to nowadays um, with the look and feel. And it's kind of rounded things out and kind of added some nice gradients. And, you know, the text is a little bit more readable. The default everything is just really just brought up to speed. Nothing like mind-blowing, world-changing here, but it's a much nicer default look and feel than before. So let's go ahead and switch now. So one of the things I wanted to point out as we go ahead and create from scratch with the new builder, we can go ahead and see that the builder itself has a complete UI overhaul. And I have another form pulled up here from the same account. And I want to refresh this just to show you that if you switch to the new theme builder, it's per form and it's not going to change all of your forms just in case you don't want to. Maybe you want one, but not all. So as we can see here, we hop into the old theme builder and it is still the old theme builder. And here we have the new UI. So really what they've done is they've just simplified everything into a system that makes sense on the left hand side with the builder. It's less confusing than trying to go, you know, within each container. And then within here you have, you know, all of your different options you have everything directly in here rather than having to filter through 
all of your different options within the builder itself. So super nice feature add. One other big notable thing. It's not a whole lot to change with the builder, but you can now add gradients too to your, your background in your container. You can go ahead and choose a custom gradient. So if we wanted to go with some Zenata colors here, we could go with the green and we could change the angle depending on the form. And now we have our gradient giving it kind of a more modern look and feel. So that's going to cover it for the Zoho Forms updates. If I missed anything or anything that you want to share, be sure to drop them in the comments below. It really helps if you found this video useful to hit that like and subscribe button. And we'll see you in the next video.